and welcome back to another tutorial so a lot of time we face a scenario where we uh, we want to restrict the user from updating a critical data for example if uh, we have user data okay and ideally the user data gets updated from uh, active directory but if an admin wants to update certain things out on the user profile then we have to get a clear confirmation from the admin that he is uh, that he is conscious what changes he is doing on the profile okay so in this kind of scenarios we need some kind of pop up well uh, you must have seen a lot of time when you try to delete some out of the box component in service now it gives us a pop up where pop up where it asks you to type delete and when your input matches delete then only the record gets deleted so this is where we can call it as a do I principle okay where a person is validating twice okay that on what action is performing on that record okay so that he will not do any mistakes okay so let's try to implement the same so the topic for today's tutorial uh, is like on the user table we want to restrict the user that whenever an admin strike to update any data on the user record okay then we give the, him a confirmation in that confirmation box when he writes the uh, what we can relevant information then only we will allow him to go ahead okay else we will not okay so let's go ahead so first of all we will go to the, this user table which is a user table for the people who are not aware about it and this is our user table okay for example if you want to update the data for able tutor say if i open the profile of able tutor so over here if i want to update this phone number okay so how i can do that i can simply give 9096120 i will not give my father so if i if i try to update it out it get updated okay and if a person is updating it by mistake okay then it will mess up the system and he will not have a track of the record okay so how to avoid that so for that we'll be defining logic today let's get started so what we'll be doing we'll be using a on sublim on sublim client script with some uh, what we can say with some client model class objects okay so let's go ahead configure i will go for client script so we will create a new client script i'll give it a name as if it's load then i can give it a name so we'll give it a confirmation pop up I think this is the right name and we'll make it on submit it's active it's on user table we want to give all all types okay and now we got the script okay so we'll be defining our logic inside the script i'll just zoom out a little bit so that you will be able to see properly so the first and the foremost thing is like we will define one scratch pad variable so and we'll return true from that if it's true then we will return true so why i'm doing so you will come to know at the last so g underscore slash pad dot action okay and i will return true now we will this particular scratch pad when it turns out to be true then our action will get performed properly okay and if we return false then the record will not get submitted we know this basics right so we will define the logics around the same so let's define our slide model class so we'll do variable slide model equal to new slide model and we'll be using an entity called client underscore 
wrong. Let me give it true and 600 is still the way. Okay, the record. Now we want to set it a title. So I will search gm dot set title. So what title we want to? Okay, we will give it as form grids. Then gm dot will give set preferences. So in preferences we can define in in our glide model what should be what should be the text okay what that type of instruction we want to give and then we can also define means we can define all the things all the ui actions and all those things okay so the first thing we'll be setting is like set set preference and preference first thing i'll be setting it with title and I will what should be the title so it's why it's like you can say uh, instructions there uh, are instructions okay so we can give instruction right, please type show or type in not right enter show if you wish to proceed Okay. So when, if they are if they are entering sure, then only they will be able to proceed with this. Then we will be defining two buttons. One should be the uh, OK button, okay, and the second will be the cancel button. Whenever we have a pop-up glide model pop-up, we have these two buttons by default. So we will define the actions on those two two buttons. So let's do that again. Now oh, instead of typing this out, I'll just copy this out paste two times because we want to define for cancel and for complete button so the first button will be on if they click on ok ok if they are fine so on prompt complete so on this what we'll be doing we'll be calling a function We'll give it a name called uh, complete, and the same thing we'll be doing on prompt, but not complete. It will be on prompt of cancel. What we have to do? So we will give it a name as cancel. Very easy, right? So now we have defined the, the these two button, or we can, and then we will render this glide model. So how we can render it out? It's pretty simple. Gm dot render done. Now we have to define two functions. So first of all, we will define the function which is complete. Okay, which uh, which executes the logic of the success code okay so let's do that so how we can do that it's like function you know how to define function like function complete and in function complete we'll be passing a value this value will be coming from the glide model okay and let's define the logic so here there may be two conditions now imagine there is a box okay it's giving you instruction text now you got a text editor where you can type that text also but now people are not perfect right users are not perfect so they may do the spelling mistake and we don't want to prove that if you are asking to type show and uh, they are typing over their bullshit okay and then also the record gets submitted so we have to do some validation on top of our data that also right so let's do that too validation so first we will be defining our default message so how we can do the variable message which will be a default message and default is always the wrong message so we will give hey true 
you have given from input and we should throw the input also right so who input and let's give space plus what input he has given value sounds amazing right okay till then now we will define if he has written if he has given right input right so value if value equal to equal to sure then what we have to do we will just set this at scratch pad variable out g underscore scratch pad dot action so what we will be doing to true so first and the former thing what we will be doing equal to equal equal to true that means the record can get submitted we will give a message we'll update the message okay so we will update the message that if you have that sure so we will we will update the record i'm just adding it out the as a use case okay you can in your project don't type this kind of statements okay just use some business statement while doing actual development and then we will go with gsft submit which is our favorite function whenever we are working on ui ui actions and then don't use a lot of law of your logic just type what i'm typing it's done g underscore form dot get form element and then g underscore form dot get get form get action name okay what kind of action it's update save so it will get those information from here so this is done and we will we want to just do the alert right so we will do alert what alert message whatever it will be okay whether it's right wrong we have to just update the message so this is the positive use case where a user is clicking on okay okay so in okay what we are doing we are calling a function complete what the function is doing it's validating whether the input which a user has given is sure because we are asking it them for sure if they are given sure so we will be like okay let's proceed with the update but if they are giving any rubbish value apart from sure okay so we don't want to enter the entertain it out and we will give an alert ki hey bro you have given a wrong input and we will just cancel the entire operation now the next thing is like if a user clicks on cancel okay so let's define the function for cancel also and it will also have value whatever user enters here actually it doesn't make any sense but let's give it okay so we will give alert and in alert what we will be giving if if pro you have cancel the operation so we are not doing anything savage so right then and we will by default return all hope the logic is clear we have defined a scratch pad variable called action okay g underscore scratch pad action then we define glide model which will which will enter ask a user to enter show 
and it will have to button complete or cancel if it's ca complete then we are validating if the input given by the user is sure or not if it's sure then we are proceeding with the update if it's not sure we are just giving an alert and we are not doing anything on the other side if they click on cancel we are just giving alert and we are not doing anything i think this is this is all uh, for the scripting part okay so let's try it out okay on the actual user record so it's giving saved confirmation pop up let's open our favorite user once again and here let's try to update the company for able tutor so or i will give able tutor one two three four okay to the email id now if i click on update it has given me a pop up please enter sure if you want to proceed so let's go let's look on the uh, in the descending order the first operation is cancel if i cancel it out i don't want to proceed if i cancel it out nothing will happen okay if i again do one two three and if i go for update now this time i will go for okay okay but uh, i will give some uh, random values like xyz but i am not asking them for xyz i am asking explicitly for sure right so i should not submit update the record so if i click on okay it's like hey bro you have given wrong input xyz it doesn't make any sense for me if it doesn't make any sense for me so i will not update the record so the record will still be the same you don't trust me if i reload the record so you can see it didn't update anything now if i give one two three again okay again and if i click on update and this time i will type show sure. and if i click okay then the record should get updated so if i click okay so it gives hey bro you have entered show sure. so we'll update the record fine so the record got updated now if i go one step back and close this out so you can see now the record got updated with able to do one to see so this is how you can add a glide model okay pop up on top of your any record any table record okay where you feel that a, a person this a, whenever a person is doing any action or whenever and when is performing certain action on this table they should be conscious about it what kind of step they are performing so you can have this kind of blog, uh, glide model video okay i want to thank hugo first okay because uh, i got the inspiration for this particular video from his article only so thanks a lot for for the article okay hope it it will it will be helpful for others also and if you have any queries on the same please drop me uh, comments okay i will all i will try to look into the same okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day right thank you